Good day to you. Today I will share on how to host your own media server. To put all your media collections into a single location for fast and easy access by using Kodi Home Entertainment Center. Kodi is a playback system with the ability to catalog all supported types of media files and it's available for Windows, Android, Apple OS, Linux and more. But before we start, you need to have a running Ubuntu server. Also a running Apache web server pre-configured with WebDAV enabled. Please follow these videos on how to install Ubuntu server and Apache web server, link in the description below. Also you already have TrueNAS installed, with SMB shares configured. Follow this videos on how to install and configure TrueNAS, link in the description below. First, let's install the Samba utility. This will enable us to mount the access to TrueNAS via SMB protocol. Next, is to create a mount directory or mount point for TrueNAS SMB. Then, it's time to mount the TrueNAS SMB shares, follow the instructions on how to mount the SMB shares in TrueNAS. You will be prompted for the TrueNAS SMB's user's password. Take note that the username and password must be the same in TrueNAS. Once successfully mounted, you can verify the contents of the mount directory. Now, we need to modify the existing Apache configuration. Follow the configuration as shown.
As usual, test the Apache configuration first, and it should return a syntax OK result. Now, let's restart Apache service again for the changes to take effects. To test the new configuration, open any preferred browser and browse to the web server with the newly created SMB subfolders URL. You will be prompted for the username and password, use the same username and password created in the previous tutorial. Upon successfully login, you'll be able to see the contents of the mount directory. For this example, I will be using an Android device to install Kodi Player, I'm using an Android tablet for this purposes. To install Kodi, open Google Play Store apps and search for Kodi. Tap on the Install button to proceed installing Kodi apps. Once the installation completed, proceed to open the Kodi apps. You will be prompted to grant access to the local resources of the device, proceed to allow the necessary access. As my device is a touchscreen enabled device, it is recommended to change the interface to a touchscreen enabled interface for ease of navigation. To change the interface, go to Settings, tap on the Interface button. Under Skin Settings, change the skin from Estuary to Estuchy Skin. Now, we need to add a media location so Kodi can access it and to catalog it. Return back to Settings menu, tap on the Media button. Under Library Settings, tap on the Videos options. Next, tap on the Add Videos button. Proceed to tap on the Browse button. Tap on the Add Network Location option. Under Protocol Settings, select the Web Server Directory or HTTP option. Next, under the Server Address, type in the IP address of the web server. Now, under the remote path, type in the name of the share folder. Next, we need to provide credentials to the web server. Once done, tap on the OK button. Please wait for Kodi to connect to the web server, it may take a while. Once connected, you should see a new source is added into the list, tap on the source and you should able to browse the content in it. Now, proceed to tap on the OK button. Next, you need to tell Kodi the type of media is in that source, in this case I will just select Movies options. You might want to enable the option called, Movies are in separate folders that match the movie title toggle, this is optional but recommended. Finally, tap on the OK button. When prompted, proceed to tap on the Yes button. 
Take note of the status on top of the screen. Once done, return back to Kodi main screen and tap on Movies section, you should now able to see your movies collections. Congratulations! Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.